yeah, we just have the budget here. So I think what I'll do is show you guys my savings tracker. Okay, so all around me here, you guys will see my savings tracker. The top part, I can adjust this. There we go. The top part of my savings tracker is my contributions that I'm making into my savings account. So you could see that I have, well, this, I should probably zoom in a little bit so you can see the numbers better. Um, but I want to give you the whole gist here. I have the months across the year, just like I do for my budget. I have my accounts down the side and then the amount that I'm contributing along with some goals. So I'm going to zoom in just so you can see a little bit better. So sources for my savings account, I have my buffer account with a goal of $1,750. And now I have changed that to leave it at $300. However, on my savings tracker, I'm just going to leave it how it is. I have an emergency account, um, an emergency fund. So my goal for that is $5,000. Now I should let you know that my husband and I do have a joint uh, emergency fund. And so this is going to be above and beyond that. And for whatever reason, there have been times where I have seen over the years People who are married and one thing happens, usually something happens to the husband and then the woman is left struggling. Um, even if there is money, not able to access the money as quickly. So I just feel like this will give me peace of mind should anything happen and it will be there if we need it. Um, I have seen people going through divorces where they have joint or don't even have a joint account. And when they have joint accounts, it gets locked. If they have their own money, it gets considered for divorces and they lose access to that shared fund. So I just want to have something for myself. Should anything arise? Uh, I don't think there ever will be anything, at the, you know, who predicts that anyway, right? But should something happen, it's there and it's one less stress for me. I have a sinking funds account, but I don't have a goal for that because I put money aside to the sinking funds with the intent that I will likely be spending that money. So I don't really have a specific goal, but I do have a sinking fund tracker with some mini goals, I guess you could say. We'll get into that in another video. My 100 envelope challenge. I have yet to get this started just because I have other goals, but I would like to have $10,000 saved up by uh, probably in the next six years because I think that's when I'll need a new car. I'm hoping my car lasts that long. We'll see what happens. Then I have accounts for my three nibblings, my nephew, my niece, my other nephew. It's $2,064. And I think I may have shared this with you guys before. And if you didn't see it, I'll just say it real quick right now. The way I figured out that account is in this column, I have their age. And then I times that by 12. So whatever their age is, they get that saved every month. So when you're one, you get $1 a month. When you're 18, You'll get $18 a month or $216 for that year. So then uh, whenever they have their birthday, I will transfer that amount of money on their birthday. I just came up with this recently, so I am a little bit behind. But my first nephew should have $348 in his account. He has $50. So as I get money, pay off debt, have more money, I'll be building up that account. My niece should have $138. To and my other nephew, 24. The little guy is going to be one soon. And this money, as I said, is just going to be a stack of cash. So I'm going to be like, here you go, whenever they need it. Could be for anything, and it will be there. Um, and then I have an extra line on here, and then my IRA will be maxed out at $7,500 for this year. Now, I didn't start contributing to the IRA until May, so I'm hoping that I could come up with the balance to max that out for 2024 taxes. If not, it's not a big deal. I'll just keep working on that. The bottom half of my spreadsheet is very similar, but this is all of the balances in the account. So here are some short-term goals for 2024. 
for my buffer account. My short-term goal for the end of the year is 600. I'm currently at 300. My emergency fund, my goal is $600. I'm at $531.18. My sinking fund is at 1300 or no, I'm sorry, that's my goal. My balance is $789, 100 envelope challenge. The goal is just $100. It's currently at $2.51. Um, and then my accounts for my nibblings, which hasn't been updated in a little bit. They each, well, two of them have 25, one is 37. The goal is to get all three of them to 100 by the end of the year. And then my IRA, I actually might only get it to 6,000 by the end of the year. If I'm able to come up with an extra $1,500, that will be amazing. If not, then it will just have to go into the beginning of next year. So we'll, we'll come back and do some updates on this either at the end of the month, probably at the end of the month, because then, well, no, we'll probably do it at the beginning of each month. That way the, well, no, I shouldn't say that either. Uh, I'll just touch back with you guys at some point with updated balances of where I'm at here. All right. Well, I said it was going to be a short one. It's not really that short, I guess. So I found some stuff to talk about. All right, guys, I am going to work on editing this to get it posted for you. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you like supporting people on their health and wealth journeys. I'm doing a giveaway at 2,500 subscribers, so you don't want to miss out on that. What else is going on? I can't think of anything right now. I think my brain just needs a rest from the day. So I'm just going to say I'll see you guys later in the week. All right, see ya. Have a great week. Bye-bye.